So that morning, I happened to be off because of being a shift worker in the operations center and uh, listening to the news and watching the news as everybody was. And, uh, and as I kind of suspected, soon got a call recalling me to come bags packed, ready to deploy for to an unknown location for an indefinite period of time. I had no idea what I was doing, where I was going, when I would be back. Uh, offloaded our equipment and we were quickly met by the state patrol uh, who uh, ex escorted us uh, red lights and siren high speed uh, down to Manhattan uh, where the FBI had a building about s six miles from uh, ground zero that they used as a vehicle uh, storage and maintenance area uh, and they needed that set up as office space well that's kind of what we do and so we quickly went about moving vehicles to the side and began establishing communications links and setting up voice, video, and data transmissions in that office space to support FBI operations. So that was our primary role and you know, how we initially responded to 9-11. We could see the smoke plume and, and all that kind of thing. The streets were almost empty. People were just not out and about. Uh, but there were uh, some places that, uh, that we would have an opportunity to go to eat uh, in some corner deli kind of places. And they were just so appreciative. They didn't even want to be paid for it. They were just so thankful uh, for us being there. Just like everybody in the nation, uh, our thoughts were reeling. Um, but maybe differently than other folks, many other folks, is that we had something constructed that we could do with those emotions. We had a task to do, and so it allowed us to kind of focus those emotions and energies towards something that we thought was extremely important and extremely productive as we went about setting up that, uh, that center for the FBI. During that time, some of the folks transitioned over to the Javits Center to help set up that JFO, and they directed others of us to uh, go to Virginia uh, to support other operations that were part of the response effort. Uh, this is my second career. I spent almost 27 years uh, in the Air Force. Um, and so as a second career, it really solidified for me that this was some place that I uh, wanted to work and this was a job that I wanted to do and re re reaffirmed the critical importance of FEMA and then in particularly in my case of MERS. I love this nation so much and uh, it, it, uh, to see the unity that there was in this nation but also to see how um, I guess racked as a nation we were with what had transpired and the loss of life. And so, you know, it's not unusual for me to, um, at some point in time on the anniversary of 9-11, to find myself with tears in my eyes uh, as I reflect not only on how it affected this nation, but how it affected my family. I'm always reminded of that um, and the fact that as part of what I do with Denver MERS, as part of what, what MERS does in general, that we're faced with that uh, possibility, that real possibility at all times, um, that uh, with things are going terrible for others uh, and maybe even going terribly for our own family and our own locality, that that's often when we may be called and have to go elsewhere. Um, and that's a sobering thought.